All right, so you're trying to connect your gray natural gas flex line into black pipe and you find out that your flared fitting on your natural gas will not screw onto the tapered threads that are on black iron pipe. Let's figure out how I got to where I'm at in this picture. All right, so what I'm gonna use as an example is my old three quarter inch flex line natural gas line that I uh, had for my old generator. And I just want to want to briefly talk about some some different threads that you can run to. If you're running black pipe in any way, shape, or form, or trying to connect to black pipe, black pipe has, uh, those are tapered threads. In other words, they're, they're designed so that as you thread them together, they're made so that as you, t as you tighten them up, they, they mate more and more together. And one of the things that you're going to run into, so you have male iron pipe threads and you have female iron pipe threads. And then what you're trying to do is you're trying to transition from that into what I showed in the opening shot, where you actually have a flared fitting which are going to be straight threads so you can't connect the two together so you need something to transition from one to the other and that's what we have when you go to the store and you find your transition piece which is what we have here my gas line is half inch but you have a half inch flared fitting which are the straight threads over to the half inch meal iron pipe threads and that's because on my connection talk through a couple things. So I have a reducer here that goes from three quarter down to half inch. The coupler for the gas line is a female flared thread. So that has to connect to a male flared thread. So I have to transition from this female black iron pipe inside here, inside this reducer, down to the female half inch flared fitting. So that's what this coupler does is it, it has a half inch MIP connection that screws into this side of the, of the reducing coupler and then on this side it has a half inch FLR threads that are used to make to the hose here so that's how you make that transition and if you had three quarter inch you'd be looking for the same thing you're looking for that that size so just keep in mind whatever it is on the black iron side you're going to either have MIP or FIP male or female thread connections and then on the uh, the coupling side over here for the natural gas line you have an FLR fitting and those are the straight threads so and then inside what you have is you have a cone to cone seating surface over here it's tapered and that's how it seals and over here you have a kind of a, a, a cone a little 45 degree cone that goes all the way around on this brass fitting and then there's a mating surface that uh, is on the hose side so that those two seat together uh, at the same angle and, and form a airtight fitting. So I hope you found this video helpful and, and maybe something you're doing with your generator or if you're doing something for out, outdoors. I would highly recommend that if you're not uh, in the game of working on this stuff or know what you're doing, don't attempt to do this by yourself. Get someone certified, get a certified plumber to do this for you. But at a minimum, you'll be educated and know what, what they're gonna be doing when they're talking to you, the information they're sharing, um, so that uh, you're educated in the process of what's all taking place. So I hope you found this helpful. Give it a thumbs up like subscribe pass along others as we work on things around the house in the driveway and everything in between this is dutch out have a great day